you are watching CT Style. We are live and it's time to jumpstart this new year and new decade. Connecting your mind, body, and spirit can create the space to heal and grow. Certified holistic health coach and healer Hillary Russo is here to share some tips on living your best life in 2020. I love the sound <laughs> of that. That's the best, right? It is. And I love coming back and seeing you guys at the first of the Thank year because you. we get to kick things off. So yeah, it really is all about not, and we mentioned resolutions, mm -hmm. you know, with, with the former guests. We, we mentioned wanting to change re resolutions every year, but sometimes it's about the revelations too. It's about trying to see what we want to do within to like promote forward. So, sure. so last year when I was on, we had the word of the year. Yeah. I do words of the year because I feel like it puts us in motion. I had focus and thrive in 2019. This year, yes. it's create and connect. Okay, so I like that. By doing words of the year, what that allows you to do is it allows you to kind of think forward. So I'm connecting with myself. I'm connecting with others. Mm -hmm. I'm creating um, in my work. I'm creating at home. I'm creating new ideas. So it, it, it's constant flow, which okay. is what I really like. So today. those are your your goals? That's what you want to look forward to in 2020? Absolutely. And by doing that, I mean, I'm talking about root work. That's okay. a big thing with me is the root work. And by root work, I mean, you know, when you think about a tree, we see the tree from above. But do we see what's happening below? Do we see no, the roots? And if we're not, if it, they're not being nurtured below, we're not going to see the tree thrive above. So we have to think of ourselves that way. It's about empathy with ourselves. It's about resonance with ourselves. And it's how we can truly thrive from within in order to move forward. Sure. So. And the timing is so right. I mean, yeah. it's a new year. It's a new decade. Mm -hmm. But what do you say to someone who really is still having trouble getting started? I think it's just you truly have to take time to sit and be mindful. Mm -hmm. I talk about mindfulness a, a lot with my clients, and mindfulness means just sitting in the stillness and asking the questions. One thing I do all the time is I journal. I journal every day. I sit in quiet. I do some meditation, and then I journal. And journaling sometimes allows those answers to come to you without even knowing. It's like the pen just starts working on its own. So mindfulness is a big way to kind of go within and kind of feel things out. And another thing I do going forward to just create kind of a positive thing. So I do gratitude moments. I write them in my book. Okay. Every day I write gratitude moments, gratitude uh, maybe 10. Like something that happens to you oh, during like, the day? Uh, that you're... I'm grateful for my kitten. I'm grateful sure. for my family. I'm grateful for my health and wellness. I do it every day because we should be in gratitude. Gratitude is truly how we promote joy. But I also do something called a gratitude jar. Okay. And what a gratitude jar is, I, I do it every week. Every Sunday, I put a note in there that just reflects something from the week prior that brings me a state of joy, that brings me happiness, and it goes forward. So on the 1st of January every year, I dump them out and oh. I read them, and then I put them in my journal. You have 52 from 52. the year before. 52. This is from the year before. That's Some fascinating. People, and I tell, I share with my clients and friends, okay. I say, you know what? Find something that you love. Like, I use a jar, a nice mason jar, because I do so much of my cooking from Kitchen Cabinet Confidential in my mason jar. And uh, some people will use like a chocolate box that sure. means something to them. Anything that means it to you, add some kind of a gratitude moment from the week before, and it really can spark joy. Would you be willing to share one or two of those with us? <laughs> oh, my glasses. <laughs> I can help read them. <laughs> oh, I don't know if we're going to pull. Some of them are not shareable. No, oh. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, let's see. So, Girls Weekend. Oh, see, so that's So, that great. was a good one. I had a great Girls Weekend in St. Augustine this summer. Or absolutely, it was in November. Wow. And um, those are the kind of moments that lets you sit and reflect and think about the really great times that you have. I think that's a terrific those plan. And now's the time difference. to start this. Yes, always. The first of the year, create those words of the year, things that really will spark joy. Uh, write in a journal, have a meditation or mindfulness moment every day, and it really can bring, it's starting within. It's the root work of the self-love, the, the, the self-empowerment, mm -hmm. and that is really truly where we see that root work happen, and that's where we bloom. I love it. All right, so you're going to show me how to kind of get started here. Yes. So there's one thing I do. I'm a certified havening techniques practitioner. And havening... What does that mean exactly? Okay, so that is... A, 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 it's a therapy. It's a, um, a psychosensory therapy, mm -hmm. and basically what it does is it, it it brings the healing power of touch together with uh, positive psychological distraction. Okay. So we do it every day. We sit. We're like we do this. We always are washing our hands. That's me doing it in Costa Rica with a client. Mm -hmm. And basically by touching on our face or touching on our arms or our hands, almost like we're washing our hands. That's actually facilitated by a, a certified practitioner. But I, what I love about Havening is you can do it yourself. You okay. can self-haven. So it's it's not just about being a healer 
healing you. Mm -hmm. It's giving you the tools to heal yourself. Sure. Makes and by sense. doing it, what it does is it creates the delta waves in your brain, slowest moving waves that create those happy chemicals like the dopamine, the serotonin, the oxytocin. And if you have emotional distress or upsets that happen in your life, by doing the havening, you can simply do this, and we can do affirmational havening, where you just mention like, I am happy, I am loved, I am safe. Or like when I was at Charles de Gaulle Airport in line for two and a half hours. <laughs> I am calm. I am calm. <laughs> and people around me, there was so much havoc and upset, but it was like myself and this whole line of Buddhist monks were the only ones that were calm. <laughs> so like, what it does is it causes the brain to kind of alter your thought, your behavior, mm -hmm. and your mood. Wow. And it can happen in one session. And, and it's so simple to do. Is. This is just one. This is yeah. you doing self-havening. But when you work with a practitioner like myself, mm -hmm. we can work on emotional distress. We can work on things that really might have caused upset in your life. I was, I was dealing with anxiety and depression mm -hmm. and upset in my own life. And through one havening session, it changed things for me. And I that's what it. caused me to get certified. Very in, good. Yeah. Well, we'll find more over at HillaryRusso.com. Yes. Thank you for being here. Thank and thank you. you for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.